welcome back to the channel. So, I am not really a Swifty. Um, I only like 13 of Taylor Swift's songs. Um, so I thought the 13 Taylor Swift songs I love and adore, I would rate them. Rank them from worst to greatest. So we're going to be starting with, of course, my least favorite out of the 13 songs I like, and then all the way to my all-time favorite songs. Now, this is my opinion, guys, so please do not get mad at me. I don't really know a lot of her songs, so these songs are probably songs most people have heard or know. Schmoody. That's my fish. So, let's just get started. Starting with number 13 is Karma. So, I like Karma. The only problem is, is I don't really know the lyrics. And I, okay, I know the lyrics, but I just don't get the lyrics. Like, I just don't get the song or anything. So, yeah. Karma would have been ranked higher if it wasn't for me not knowing the lyrics. It's a great song. I just don't get the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. So, the next... Spilled that. <gasps> the number 12 is Getaway Car. So, I love this song. It was one of... It probably would have been ranked five or higher, but I haven't listened to this song. Literally, I wrote down my Taylor Swift favorite songs like a while, like four months ago. I have not listened to the song in probably a good two solid months, so I have no clue. I don't remember the lyrics at all. All I remember is in a getaway car. That's literally all I remember. Um, so it's not going to... I mean, it would be ranked higher if I listened to it more often, but it's just like... Some of these songs I don't really like, but I only like a good, like, five solid of her songs. So, yeah, that's why. So, number 11 is Lover. Lover is a good song, but I have not listened to the song probably since I went to Ocean City, which was in September. So, yeah, it's a good three months or, like, some stuff. So I don't remember, honestly. Um, what the sound sounds, what the song sounds like either, which is part of my problem. I have not listened to some of these songs in a while because I am a Olivia Rodrigo fan. I'm a Livy and not a Swifty, so yeah. Number ten is Enchanted. Enchanted is such a good song. It's such a good song. But I love, I liked song, I liked Taylor Swift songs more than Enchanted. Oh, I really wish I put it at two. Cause I, mm. I love that song. But there was just so many songs that were better that I liked. That's why it's ranked ten. But it could have been eight or higher. Yeah. So next up, nine, is Paper Rings. Paper Rings is a good song. I just really think it was overplayed. Paper Rings was one of those overplayed songs by your older siblings back in, like, 2020, 2021. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, number eight is You Belong With Me. I love You Belong With Me, but again, it's another one of those overplayed songs that you get kind of bored with after the fifth time playing it. So, yeah. Number seven is, yeah, another overplayed song is Bad Blood. I love this song, but it's just really overplayed. The lyrics get stuck in your head, and then you don't like the song because you're singing it all day, and it's getting really annoying. So, 
I really wish I ranked it three, but yeah, no. Number six is like a lot of these are overplayed. Like number six is anti hero. I love this song, but now that Taylor Swift is really popular, all the songs everyone likes has been overplayed, so no one likes the songs anymore. But anti hero, I love it. But oh, hi brownie. I love it, but it's just like not it's it's not for me. Like I don't know. Yeah. Number 5 is our song. Now, our song is one of the classic songs. It is overplayed by the YouTube community. So is August. August slipped away until more time. It's never my Oh, I do like I love August, but it's not on this list. I just don't I love our song. It's like my like one of my all-time favorite songs by Taylor Swift. But it's overplayed by the YouTube and TikTok and yeah. It's overplayed by the YouTube and TikTok community, which is one of the big problems is that some most of the Taylor Swift songs have been overplayed. So you like want to find new songs that aren't overplayed, but when you finally start like songs Taylor Swift songs that aren't overplayed, they start being overplayed. So it's really hard, but yeah. Number four is Blank Space. Now, Blank Space, I love Blank Space. That's why it's ranked number four. It's honestly, it brings such a joy to me. I love it so much. It's like literally one of the best songs in the world. Well, not in the world, but like by Taylor Swift. So, Blank Space, yeah. So now, we're going to the songs i love the most the songs i play every night and every day and every all day long and i have not gotten bored of them coming in hot with number three drum roll please welcome to new york welcome to new york is so good i love it welcome to new york it's been waiting for you welcome to new york Sorry, my, my hamster is eating seeds. Ow, I just stabbed myself with the pen. But Welcome to New York is such a good song. I love it. I literally played it like four times this morning. That's what I also did with uh, getting back. Yeah. Okay. Number two, coming in hot. Drum roll, please. Shake it off. This used to be my favorite song from age like four to six until I really started listening to more music and I started liking other songs. Shake It Off is number two because it literally brings back my little kid memories. I remember in my mom's apartment before we bought like a townhouse, I would be dancing on the couch, literally on the couch with my hand like this and I'd be like, shake it off, shake it off. And that song would be playing like 10 times a day. And my mom would be really mad because she'd been trying to wash the dishes, listening to her podcast, and then she'd have to listen to shake it off. Yeah. It just brings back so many little kid memories of me like before I got into YouTube and that type of stuff. The ultimate song. The song I love the most. By Taylor Swift. Drumroll, please. Cruel Summer. You guys are probably like, oh my god, she's such a bassy. Like a basic, a basic Britney. Yes, I am. Okay, I like the basic songs. I like the songs everyone knows. Cruel Summer. It's a cruel summer for you. I'm drunk in the back of the car and I cried like a baby coming home from the bar. Ooh, I'm fine, but it wasn't true. I don't want to keep secrets just to keep you and I snuck in from the garden gates every night that summer. Yeah, it's such a good song. I love it. I literally know all the lyrics to it. I If I go to a Taylor Swift concert and they play Cruel Summer, I will shut everyone else up, like tell them to be quiet. I will be the star of the show. I will even tell Taylor Swift. Quiet down. I need to sing this song. Yeah. But that is it for ranking my favorite Taylor Swift songs. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Well.